Hey students, welcome to our next session of Organic Chemistry. In this session, we are going to cover the topics that are determination of empirical formulae and molecular formulae of various organic compounds, detection of various elements present in them, and identification of their functional groups. So let us start with the determination of empirical and molecular formulae of compounds. So the first thing that we must know is what exactly is empirical formula, what is molecular formula, and how are the two different from each other. Empirical formula can be defined as the simplest formula of a compound expressing the relative numbers of each kind of atoms present in the molecule. Please keep in mind that it gives the relative number of the atoms and not the exact number of atoms present in the molecule of the compound. Whereas the molecular formula gives the actual number of each kind of atoms present in the molecule. For example, the molecular formula of hydrogen peroxide is H2O2, whereas its empirical formula is HO, that is, the ratio of hydrogen and oxygen present in its molecule is 1 is to 1. Similarly, the molecular formula of benzene is C6H6, whereas its empirical formula is CH. The molecular formula of acetic acid is C2H4O2, whereas its empirical formula is CH2O. So, by looking at this table, we can make out that molecular formula is a simple multiple of the empirical formula of the compound. So we can write it in the form of an equation where molecular formula is equal to empirical formula whole n, whereas n is a whole number. When n is equal to 1, the molecular formula is same as the empirical formula of the compound. The next term that we must know is percentage composition. Percentage composition of an element in a compound is the number of parts by mass of the element present in 100 parts by mass of the compound. So if mass is expressed in terms of grams, we can say that the percentage by mass of the element in the compound is the number of grams of that element present in 100 grams of the compounds. So in the form of a mathematical formula, we can write that percentage of the element is equal to number of parts by mass of the element in one mole of the compound divided by molecular weight of the compound into 100. Let us see how we can determine the empirical formula of a compound. First of all, the percentage of each element present in the compound is determined experimentally. Then this percentage is divided by the atomic weight of the respective element so as to obtain the relative number of atoms of every element present in the compound. Now if the ratio obtained in the second step is not a whole number and is in the form of a fraction, then all the numbers are multiplied with a suitable number to convert them into a simple whole numbers. Similarly, we can determine the molecular formula of the compound with the help of its empirical formula. We calculate the empirical formula of the compound as we have just discussed. Then, the empirical formula weight of the compound is calculated by adding the atomic weight of the atoms as are represented in the empirical formula that we have just determined. Now, the molecular weight of the compound is determined experimentally. Then, the molecular weight is divided by the empirical formula weight to determine the value of N. Please recall that we discussed a mathematical equation according to which molecular formula is equal to empirical formula whole n. This is the same n that is an integer. Then the empirical formula is multiplied by n to get the molecular formula. For determining the molecular formula of the compound, we have to determine the molecular weight of the compound experimentally. There are various methods which are used for this purpose, such as the cryoscopic method, ebullioscopic method, silver salt method, volumetric method, and Victor Mayer method. Let us discuss the basic details of each of these methods one by one. So the first method for determining molecular weight experimentally is the cryoscopic method. 
This method is based on the depression in freezing point. So if W1 gram of the organic compound whose molecular weight is to be determined or we can say the solute is added to W2 gram of a suitable solvent and Tf is the depression in the freezing point observed then we can write that M1 that is the molecular weight of the compound or the solute is equal to 1000 into Kf where Kf is the molar depression constant into W1 divided by delta Tf into W2. This formula gives us the molecular weight of the organic compound used as a solute in this case. Second method for determining the molecular weight of an organic compound is the abuleoscopic method. This method is based on the elevation in boiling point. So if W1 gram of the compound is added to W2 gram of a suitable solvent and Tb is the elevation in the boiling point of the solvent which is observed, then we can write that M1, that is the molecular weight of the solute or the organic compound, is equal to 1000 into Kb, where Kb is the molar elevation constant into W1, divided by delta Tb into W2.